Irish Grand National handicap chase three miles five furlong and King's advocate just a youngster in the field seven from eight to one in the kicking king colors of Mr. Connor Clarkson Juvenier who ran such a great race at Cheltenham nines from tens why so mayor the top hunter chaser at 10 to 1 distant thunder the raider from no chances yard at 10 to 1 cloudy lane of Cheltenham festival winner for the grand national winning yard of the McCain's Ulat at 12s from four side as they go out over number three well tutored is close up towards the leaders on the inside and all safely standing now as they head towards the top of the hill where diva lay with church island moving up on the outside now to dispute the lead just behind them is chelsea harbour in third and they're being followed by a new story with close to the outside is one four shannon and we three udice is just behind them on the inside as they race downhill now to the fifth and Church Island comes to join De Valais, two lengths then to Chelsea Harbour in third, one for Shannon is next and they're being followed by Udice who races on the inside of Cloudy Lane, We three and Patsy Hall just behind them and they're being followed by GVA Ireland with a new story tracked by Osme Cosmo touch and then all out towards the inside with Dante's Reef not far off with American Jenny as they swing now and race across towards the next fence and matching strides to the seventh fence is De Valais and Church Island they're over clear of Chelsea Harbour in third place they're followed in fourth by Patsy Hall with just behind them Udice then comes Cloudy Lane and behind Cloudy Lane on the inside is Juvenur racing across now to fence number eight and Church Island is just the leader on the outside of De Valais. then there's a clear break to Chelsea Harbour who's touched down just in third place with alongside one for Shannon Cloudy Lane is next with Udice and then comes Mac 3 with Patsy Hall close up Omni Cosmo touches next they're on their approach to the turn into the straight and Church Island is the leader followed in second place by De Valais. they are about six seven in front of Chelsea Harbour one for Shannon is next with Udice racing the rail in company with Cloudy Lane Patsy Hall and then comes Mac 3 towards their outside Omni Cosmo touches just behind with American Jenny Gaza's girl is towards the inside being followed by King's Advocate and Butler's Cabin and Dante's Reef as they jump the second in the straight and on now to the fence that will complete the first circuit and as they come now towards it it is Church Island on the far side from De Valais and then Chelsea Harbour coming up now to jump this fence that completes the first circuit and 12 of the fences see if they all negotiate this one it's a clear round for the 29 so they pass the stands and Church Island and Andrew McNamara lead from in second place De Valais Chelsea Harbour is next being followed by Cheeky Lady after Cheeky Lady, a break of a few lengths to Udice, Cloudy Lane and Juvenur and Patsy Hall. Then comes Gaza's Girl and Butler's Cabin, Omni Cosmo Touch, King's Advocate towards the inside, GBA Ireland, American Jenny. Just after them is Distant Thunder. And then comes just behind them, Aulard with a new story, Dante's Reef. And they're being followed by Marcus de Berlay, well tutored in Kerryhead Wind Farm. Ross River is next, and then Kane Bray back towards the end kill devil hill with after them coming all in the stars towards the rear with one for shannon the back marker but up front church island and de Valais from chelsea harbour cheeky lady udice just behind them comes juvenur as they go now to jump the next fence and climb towards the top of the hill it's still Church Island pulled up as all in the stars going now to the top of the hill and it is Church Island and De Valais. they've been one two throughout a break of three lengths to Chelsea Harbour Cheeky Lady is fourth Udice Gaza's girl is next and then Cloudy Lane they're being followed by Patsy Hall with Butler's cabin and just behind them towards the inside is Nina Savola 
as they race down now towards the next just over a mile left to go Church Island from in second place Devile then a break to Chelsea Harbour Cheeky Lady is fourth Cloudy Lane is fifth and then comes Udiche towards the inside after them comes Butler's Cabin as they stream away from that and make the turn over on the far side with seven furlongs to go Church Island leads from in second place Devile they're being followed by Chelsea Harbour Cheeky Lady after them is Patsy Hall towards the outside. Why so Mayo has picked up good ground towards the outside of the leaders. Taking them on now over the next and still Church Island showing just in the lead being followed in second place by De Valet. a few lengths then to Chelsea Harbour and Cheeky Lady as they race now to the final five furlongs and Church Island and Andrew McNamara lead by three to De Valet in second then comes Chelsea Harbour, Cloudy Lane, Cheeky Lady, Udache just behind them with Butler's Cabin as they stream over that one and race now towards the fourth from the finish and Church Island leads by over three lengths to Chelsea Harbour. They're being followed by De Valet, Butler's Cabin, Cheeky Lady, Udache is just in behind them as they come now to jump this one and race for the home straight. It is Church Island who's in the lead, being followed by Butler's Cabin and Tony McCoy. Udache is just in behind them. Then comes Chelsea Harbour and racing round the home turn. American Jenny and King's Advocate getting into it as well as they come down now towards the third last Church Island Butler's Cabin American Jenny towards the outside as they race now towards the second last mayhem there behind but it's Church Island Butler's Cabin American Jenny distant thunder from the back Linda Saviola and Udache just in behind racing to the final fence Butler's Cabin and Tony McCoy come to challenge Church Island American Jenny Linda Saviola towards the inside the final fence four in line Butler's Cabin Linda the Savannah towards the inside American Jenny and Church Island but running up towards the finish Butler's Cabin and Tony McCoy won the Powers National for J.P. McManus and John Joe O'Neill. Second home is Nina Savola. Then American Jenny, Dante's Reef, Church Island, King's Advocate with Udache next. Seven. He's capable of going on to much better things in time. 14 to 1. He is the winner of the Powers Whiskey Irish Grand National. Savola 12 to 1. Third number 23, American Jenny 33.